Hi everyone, this is Cody and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the chain on an ATV, a four-wheeler, three-wheeler, whatever sort of ATV you have and hopefully this will help. Okay, so the stuff you're going to need to do this, you'll need a few wrenches, a 17mm, uh, a 14mm, a and a 13mm. And then you'll also need some sort of uh, measuring device. Uh, that's assuming you have the manual for your machine. Okay, so to get started, what we need to do is take off these four bolts. Or not take them off, just loosen them. So these, this, that, and then there's two underneath there. That's what hold the bearing carrier to the actual, like the, the rear spring assembly thing. Uh, so once we loosen them, this will kind of slide freely. And then there's an adjuster down here, which uh, we'll have to loosen or tighten depending on if, how you're adjusting your chain. Uh, that will allow us to get the correct tension. Now in your manual somewhere it should say how much tension there is should be or how much uh, play there should be from a certain spot like however many inches. Now I don't know that for this particular machine. Um, I may look it up on the forums or something uh, before I actually adjust this to find out uh, or I may just take a guess uh, but you probably want to find out the correct tension so you don't mess it up. Now you want it to be somewhat loose because uh, everything has to work smoothly and you don't want it to be too tight. Okay, so now once you've got them loosened up a little bit so they're all loose enough so this should slide, uh, what you want to do is loosen this one here. Now this is just kind of the locking nut that stops us from turning. Uh, so we're going to be tightening this up so I'm going to loosen loosen it off a little bit and then I'll figure out my measurement for the chain. Okay, so I had a look uh, to find the adjustment on this. Uh, I don't know for a fact this is right, but I, on the forums I found for the uh, Suzuki LT230, um, the quad sport, or this is the E, but they're the same pretty much. It should be uh, 40 to 45 millimeters from the lower run. So I'm assuming this is the lower run here. Now right now it's at about uh, 55 millimeter, which isn't good. So we're going to fix that. Okay, so now that everything's loose, um, you can take the 13 millimeter, or no, that's 14. No, that's the 13. Um, and then, so since we want to uh, tighten the chain, you just want to tighten this. Now if you want to loosen the chain, you want to loosen this right here. It doesn't exactly make sense the way this turns. Uh, you'd think it would be the other way. Uh, but it makes sense tightening to tighten it and loosen to loosen it. Uh, so make sure this is loosened off enough. Now I, you could use some sort of power screwdriver here, but I'm just going to use a wrench. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at it and see uh, what our measurement is. Okay, so now I've got this pretty much right at uh, 40 millimeters or so. I'm not sure where you're supposed to measure this on the chain. So, 4 centimeters. Uh, that looks good to me. It's got enough tension in it uh, that it's not going to come off and stuff, but it's not so tight that it's going to chew, chew stuff up. Now, I probably do need to clean and lubricate this chain, but I'm just showing you how to set it up right now. Okay, so now that we've got the chain tension correct, uh, you want to tighten this back up, the locking nut, so that doesn't uh, change. And then you want to tighten up these four bolts again, and then it should be set. So that's it for now. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next video.